Today's objective is scale drawings. A scale drawing is a two-dimensional drawing that is similar to the object it represents. A scale model is a three-dimensional 3D model, but we're not making scale models. The scale gives the ratio of the model to the actual object. Okay, and notice I wrote it with the little colon like it was a real ratio. So one centimeter to 200 meters means one centimeter on the drawing equals 200 meters in real life. Okay? Here's an example. A garden is 40 meters wide, and on the drawing of it, no, that should say it is, sorry. I didn't know how to read today. And on the drawing, it is 20 centimeters wide. What is the scale? Okay, these are the three steps. We write the word ratio. And I put a little asterisk here because I want to tell you the scale is always in the numerator and the actual is always in the denominator. We always write scale over actual. You always will have the smaller number that's on the map or whatever your scale drawing is first. Okay, we write the word ratio, we fill in the numbers, and then we simplify. So, I'm going to write scale over actual. I'm going to go back to my word problem and find what the, they gave me. So it says the actual is 40 meters wide and the drawing, that's the scale, is 20 centimeters. So I'm going to write 20 centimeters over 40 meters and then simplify. So 20 over 40, 1 centimeter over 2 meters. Well, how can you change the scale model to have a common unit? Because sometimes the scale models I mean, sometimes the scale will have units with it, and sometimes they don't. And if they don't, it's because it they both would have the same measurement. So to do that, we use conversion factors, dimensional analysis. So one centimeter to two meters, I always change to the smaller unit. So I need to change two meters to centimeters. So I write my meters over centimeters. And then I write the conversion, 1 meter is 100 centimeters. And then I can cross out anything that I can cross out. And so I end up with 1 to 200. So the scale of 1 centimeter to 2 meters can also be written as 1 to 200. And then we're talking about centimeters, but we've crossed it out because it's the same thing. But um, it would tell you in the problem, okay? But I just want to show you how to convert it so it has the same unit. All right, here are two examples. A model train has a scale of 1 inch to 25 feet. So that means 1 inch on the paper is 25 feet in real life. The actual length of the train is 425 feet find the scale length. So what would it be on the drawing is what we're asking you. Write the word ratio, write a proportion, solve, and since it's a word problem you need word answers. It's always scale over actual and it says 1 inch to 25 feet so I'm just going to write 1 to 25 because often usually when we're doing our problems we don't put the words in our problems. We don't put the words until the answer. Okay, So 1 over 25 equals x over 425 and I know to put that in the denominator because it says the actual length of the train is 425 feet. And now I'm just going to cross multiply. 25 times x equals 425 divide by 25 x is 17 inches. Now I'm putting my words back and here's my sentence. The model is 17 inches long. So when you have these word problems you have to write a little word sentence answer. Alright, last example. On a map the distance from here to there is 7 inches. The scale is 1 inch equals 250 miles. So that means 1 inch on the map is 250 miles in real life. What is the distance from here to there? Once again, we write our word ratio, our proportion, and then we solve. And the word ratio in these problems is always scale over actual. 1 to 250 from our problem equals 7 over x. And the reason I know that the 7 goes in the numerator is because in the problem it says on a map it's 7 inches. 
So once again, I cross multiply. 1 times x is x. 250 times 7 is 1,750 miles, because that's what we were looking for. So the distance is 1,750 miles. That's it.